YouTube family. We are here again. DJ Academics was speaking his truth. DJ Academics gave us a little close insight on how he feel about some of these rappers. Now, Academics, he spoke his truth when it came to the Nardo Wick situation. He let us know how the industry is ran. Can you say in an educational purpose way, he somewhat exposed Nardo Wick. Now, you be the one to judge was he's being, you know, in a mean way? Was he just being in an honest way? I personally think he was being honest, but I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Now, this is DJ Academics explaining how Nardo Wick's executives of his record label came up to academics and try to make him say a false narrative of what was going on. Now, he talks with Adam Jumpman22, and he explains all of that. Now, y'all hit the like button and notification bell and rock out. After be getting ready for this that wasn't the case with this right and i was telling them i'm like yo a lot of the stuff that you guys got going on like it's kind of you know what i mean like labels these days they're buying posts or they're putting out narratives like hey did y'all check out these couple lines it might be this and someone that's just what it is so there was a particular artist and uh, i'll say his name narda wick mm. um and his manager was on there and his manager was like yo well yo act like Yo, I seen some shit go up on your page. Like, yo, that was you stirring some shit up. And I was like, yo, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. There's been a lot of promo ran when it came to that particular artist. Because I'm honest. Mm -hmm. One thing about academics, I will go to the utmost extent to be honest. I don't care if it makes me look bad. Because the truth in my eyes could never make me look worse than the person who is pretending, capping, and acting ignorant while they actually know. Those are called fakes and frauds and bitch ass niggas, if you ask me. <laughs> so me, I'll keep it on it, no matter what, right? So I'm talking to the, to this guy, and you know, by the way, you know, in in their defense, it was a post that came through trying to promote some shit, but it wasn't from his team. Uh -huh. So you know, the post in question, I understand why he seemed to know, but I did mention in the process, and it's already out there, it's public knowledge. I said, well, you know, your team been promoting the song, the song that's hot, and that's kind of made it to my page a couple times y'all had that come on my page it wasn't me just like taking a liking into it and um and this is why i'm saying you got to know everything that's going on we get to la i get here today adam uh -huh. i even get to figure out a place to stay uh -huh. tell me who the first person i run into the same motherfuckers right that that was about now keep in mind if I was so detached from what my platform is putting out, the message that's being sent, whether on Instagram or I'm actually talking about it, that person who, you know, gladly we we came to a very civil term in conversation, but if they had felt some way, I run into them, who knows what happens if they're perceiving that my platform is inciting some shit. Mm. So that's, that's why I say to you, I'm like, are you telling me that there's things posted on No Jumper that... Again, I'm not saying you're micromanaging everything. There's but stuff you I look at no on the Instagram that I wonder if it was paid for or not. I'm like, is somebody there like think this is worth posting or was this paid for? And I got to like double back and find out. Oh, you're getting too much money then. <laughs> okay. All right. You know my, me. I'm pocket wise. I'm pocket wise. He's getting too much right, money. But let me explain. My thing is <laughs> Adam that walks off a fucking porn set. He just had yeah. like a fucking foursome. He don't know what the fuck is on the goddamn Instagram. But I have to know, brother. The porn shit is part of the problem. But I will say that. A lot of times, all right, my thing is like, all right, I got. I believe my platform and your platform is big enough that we could do what we enjoy and make millions. Mm -hmm. Th this isn't like McDonald's, where it's like, yo, how did this slip through? Right. Like, what if, if you don't enjoy certain shit, like, for example, if you don't enjoy like 6ix9ine, I guarantee 6ix9ine is not getting a post on your page. You will know about it, right? Wait, what? If 6ix9ine is dropping a song uh -huh. and his label's like, hey, we're going to. We're putting together a promo package. We want this placement on... on I ain't on, taking that motherfucker's money. But you're acknowledging that you would know about it. My team would ask me before we did that one, for sure. Okay. But maybe maybe other artists who may have been critical about you or maybe artists that they know you don't fuck with. That, I, I guess that's the level of knowing what's going on with your platform that I'm all the way in. Because, again, as you know, people usually say, oh, act don't go out, blah, blah. But 
man, if I go out and, and, and there was something that I did, I'm not the person who's going to be like, let me call up some, some other person to see why they did that. I have inherited that issue because it is my platform. But I'll put it in perspective, like I just went to Hawaii on vacation for a week. And while I was gone, some people on my team did an interview with two rappers who at least like sort of maybe kind of like talk shit about me or like had an issue with me or whatever. And when I found out, I was just like, oh, that's cool. That's dope. Like, because I'm actually, I'm actually trying to have my platform be bigger than me. Like, I would rather have enough people doing content and being involved with it that there could totally be a dude there that has said shit about me and doing an interview with somebody else and then we could talk about it whatever it's like i'm not really super pressed about that or concerned no no, no i no. want i want my shit to be big in how i'm trying to grow it yeah that's a possibility like of course if if i get like for whatever reason and, and let's say for whatever reason i would be still down like not down to sit down with, like i don't know vic mens or freddie gibbs mm. but freddie gibbs wants to come to talk to personality a on academics platform Nigga, I'm going to laugh to the bank. I just fucking won. I don't give a fuck. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm not opposed to that. I'm just saying you just have you have to be in tune mm. because this is hip hop. And and, I, and I've had these conversations on Clubhouse and I say, y'all are all tight at academics, but I never see y'all have the same energy for Adam. And maybe you could say he doesn't do exactly what you claim you're mad at me, right? But that's but, the crazy reason why they, they hate on you for something that now so many people do on YouTube. You were just hella early. Like you were making videos about different rappers from gangs beefing with each other. And I'm not trying to, you know, top you off by saying this, but 2013, 12, whenever you came on the scene. Nowadays, there's tons of people who are huge on YouTube making videos about different gangs beefing. And there's not even one rapper from the gang Yo. who's famous or even has a, a six figure view count. That's normal now. That's kind of crazy that like- Yo, they they you do saw better that than me. early. They do better than me. Yo, and you I, got I, too big to, to even give a fuck about making a video for a quarter million views about Clubhouse. No, I've never been on there. Oh my god, yo! So Clubhouse, I look at it and I only go into it because, first of all, there's content everywhere. Number mm. two, I am the person I'll go into the lines then, and I actually am that confident that number one, I'm operating a very morally sound way. I'm not only doing that, but I am I am confident that I'm not doing super fucked up shit that if ever questioned about it, mm. I can't defend. Right. So like, you know, I always hear people say, yo, act, why do you go on Clubhouse? And I'm like, listen, I'm all about the conversation. What do you want me to do? Just like run and like we all make a lot of money. Like who cares about that? But if if we're if we're not participating in the conversation or at least entertaining, even those that might be haters slash constructive um criticizers like are you are you just like you know um just profiting off the culture and just like dipping but my reason why i don't go on clubhouse and why when i first heard about it i was like oh that's a cool idea for an app but it's not for me is because to me it feels like it would be like working in a bowling alley all day yeah and then getting off work and going to another bowling alley and just hanging out there all day because i'm gonna it's like I'm talking on camera so much. It's like Not at night okay. or whenever people be chilling and they're on Clubhouse, I'm like, I feel like nighttime is when. And that is kind of the job of the media as well. You know what I mean? Again, to put, like if you're going to cover anything that is beef related, if the other side responds, you should cover that too. Mm. However, for me, that wasn't the case with this, right? And I was telling them, I'm like, yo, a lot of the stuff that you guys got going on, like is kind of, you know what I mean? Like labels these days, they're buying posts or they're putting out narratives like hey did y'all check out these couple lines it might be this and someone that's just what it is so there was a particular artist and uh, i'll say his name narda wick mm. um and his manager was on there and his manager was like yo well yo act like yo i seen some shit go up on your page like yo that was you stirring some shit up and i was like yo bro i'm gonna be honest with you there's been a lot of promo ran when it came to that particular artist because i'm honest mm -hmm. one thing about academics I will go to the utmost extent to be honest. I don't care if it makes me look bad because the truth in my eyes could never make me look worse than the person who is pretending, capping, and acting ignorant while they actually know. Those are called fakes and frauds and bitch ass niggas if you ask me. <laughs> so me, I'll keep it on it no matter what, right? So I'm talking to, the, to this guy and, you know, by the way, you know, in, in their defense, 
it was a post that came through trying to promote some shit, but it wasn't from his team. Uh -huh. So, you know, the post in question, I understand why I seem to know, but I did mention in the process, and it's already out there, it's public knowledge. I said, well, you know, your team been promoting the song, the song that's hot, and that's kind of made it to my page a couple of times. Y'all had that come on my page. It wasn't me just, like, taking a liking into it. And, um, and this is why I'm saying you got to know everything that's going on. We get to LA. I get here today, Adam. Uh -huh. I didn't get to figure out a place to stay. Uh -huh. Tell me who the first person I run into, the same motherfuckers right. that that was about. Now, keep in mind, if I was so detached from what my platform is putting out, the message that's being sent, whether on Instagram or I'm actually talking about it. Subscribe that to person us, who, you know, gladly we, we came to a very civil term in conversation. But if they 